Young. Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? This is EA TV. Good evening to you and a warm welcome to the part of West London where the Kings Road and Fulham Road meet, Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Chelsea versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And I've been watching Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in various countries for a number of years, and Stuart, he rarely disappoints. Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to score another goal today because he's got four in the last three games. He's a player full of confidence, and every time he makes a forward run, he looks as though he's going to get in behind. He's in outstanding form at the moment. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Mateo Kovacic starts alongside Denis Zakaria in the centre of midfield. And the striker today is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the fans settling into their seats here at Stamford Bridge. We are underway. Well, couldn't keep it. Decent position. Trossard. Can he convert? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Who's going to get on the end of it? And they deal with the threat this time. Top class defending. Well, it's tight at the top and extremely tense, just as we would want it, Stuart. Well, it looks like being a very close race for the title, doesn't it? There's nothing to choose between the teams, but can one of them just go on a great run and pull away? Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Now the task is to remain focused. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Havertz, and the body in the way. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Well-timed tackle. Now, let's see what they can do here. And the pass could do damage. Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. And a goal to tell you about in the West Ham game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a goal for West Ham. They've scored the opener here with 16 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Young trying to feed it through. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Not really the ideal clearance. Poor attempt at a pass, really.
Well, Chelsea deserved all the plaudits they got for their win against Wolves. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? That away victory was a really good performance. Today, I'm expecting... The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee has decided to book him. Well, it's not a good challenge, and quite rightly, he gets a yellow card for that. He's played it short here. Zakaria intercepting it intelligently. Breaking at pace. Good physical play. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Trossard. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power. The keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. It'll be interesting to see whether or not Chelsea can articulate an appropriate reply. This is a message for all away supporters. Reese James. Can you please remain seated after the game. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Thank you. Mount. Obama Yang. Well, it's been difficult for Brighton to get too much of the ball so far, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. And space to cross it. Denis Undav. Well, a goal update for you from the Manchester City game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a goal for Brentford. It's all even Stevens at 1 1 with 34 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Trossard. Can he finish? Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Well, I don't think they've been at it today, but maybe, just maybe, that great save will inspire them now. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Zakaria. Poor pass under no real pressure. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. We're getting close to the half-time interval, and Chelsea behind, albeit narrowly. Stuart, your assessment of their first half showing? Well, the... Aubameyang! What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing! Drilled home with true conviction! Tremendous goal! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And the strike could not get any better. He hit through the back of the ball with such power. What a goal this is. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. One, one.
Enoch Mwepu. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Could cross it in here. Struggling to get it away. And I think the threat has been averted. Mateo Kovacic. Useful looking ball. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. First half draws to a close here in West London. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, a formidable striker, no two ways about that, and delivering here, Stuart. Yes, he'll be pleased with his first half display. He's so underway again, Chelsea with the lead, but absolutely no room for complacency. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Lalana. Trossard. And winning it back. A change to the scoreline at the Etihad, I believe. Alex Scott? And it's a second goal for Manchester City. It's now 2-1 with 51 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Well, the attack looks promising. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front, but the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Well, he's certainly got ability. A lot of clubs have been in for him, but now he needs to fulfil that potential. He might just have to be patient, though. Well, taken away, he won the ball. Denis Undav. Lalana. Intercepting it intelligently. This might be ideal for the counter. Beautifully weighted ball. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Foul there, free kick awarded. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Chance to equalise here. And the keeper denies them from the spot. So the corner played into the box. Well cleared away. Making progress. Space and time for the cross. This could square the game. And the challenge crisp and clean. 
Just a quick reminder, we'll have FA Cup fourth round action coming up for you live. It's Chelsea facing Aston Villa. Well, that's a game to look forward to. And that wasn't a million miles away, almost the equaliser. Well, it's not a bad effort, is it? But they've got to find a way back into this one. Cucurella. Here's Kovacic. And an astute piece of defending. Undav. Offside by a fraction. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Brighton and Hove Albion facing Manchester City. A oh, nice ball over the top. Trossard. Well, they keep the ball moving. Undav. It's there for him. Still could be dangerous. Danger averted for now. Cucurella. On the ball, Zakaria. And the counter attack is on. Options available. And the ball's gone. Zakaria. Mateo Kovacic. And threading it forward. And tossing through. And Chelsea have done it. It's going to be so difficult to stop them now. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Coming onto the pitch, number five, Rose. Well back. Could be troublesome. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. And with play stop, they will make the change now. And just five minutes remaining. Room to roam for Chelsea on the wing. Now, will the cross work out for them? Right, let's go to Alex Scott, because Alex, news of a goal in the Bournemouth game. It's a goal for Bournemouth. The ball was pulled back from the goal line. He got over it well and was able to keep his shot down. It was a great goal. The score's level again now at 1-1, with only a few minutes left to play. Alex, thank you very much. And in with a real chance. Surely. Will he finish? There's the goal. Surely now. That is that.
Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Full-time men, the referee's whistle, and it's a win for Chelsea. That's the big headline, Stuart. Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, the cameras get up close and personal with Pierre Emerick Aubameyang with good cause. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well, and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?